Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be exploring Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did a couple of things. Number one, I did farm up a ton of souls so that we could level up at least four times. I went ahead and I put on the Black Bow of Ferris and leveled it up to plus six. You don't have to do that, but if you want to, you can use it. I also went ahead and put a Bless Gem on my Leywind Shield. And then I went ahead and put on some Charcoal Pine Resin and some Green Blossoms. All right, now that that's been said, let's go ahead and level up. Welcome, Aspi. Very well, then take me. I'm going to go ahead and put one into Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dex. Farewell, Ashmi. Let's sit at the bonfire. And we're going to travel over to the High Lord Walnir's bonfire. I'll see everybody over there. Now before we get started, we're not going to go that way towards the bridge that we broke in the last episode. We're going to go up these stairs. And this will lead us to Irithyll. Which, in my opinion, is one of the prettiest sections in Dark Souls 3. Beautiful. Our winter wonderland. We're going to light this bonfire. And then we're going to come down here. Now, if you're playing online, expect to be invaded quite a bit here. It's a very high invasion area. I'm going to read this developer message. It says, bring a doll to be granted passage. Now, we already have that doll because we got it in the Cathedral of the Deep. But I want to let everybody know there's going to be a dog that spawns behind us. And we want to kill it here because if we don't, we're going to have to fight it down there in the water. And that is no fun. So we want to walk a little ways. It'll spawn in. We're killing the dog, we get the Pontiff's right eye. It's an okay ring. If you are consecutively hitting an enemy, you'll heal. So it's kind of like Pontiff's left eye in a way. Just a little different. Subtly different. So right here. Uh, oh, missed it. I was like, where's the item at? It's a homeward bone. <laughs> I thought it was right here. Sorry. Right here, if you don't have the doll, you will not be able to cross that fog barrier. We're going to light this bonfire. Grab ourselves a couple of items. Come around here. Grab another soul. And then we're going to backtrack across this bridge again. We're actually going to go into Cirrus's world and help her with an invader. Quick disclaimer, if you die in her world or she dies, you can just come right back over here and summon right back into her world. So it's not like something you have to do on your first shot. Let's go ahead and summon into her world. I'm going to touch the sign. Mm -hmm. 
right here, if you've played Dark Souls 2, you should know who this character is. Thank you for your kind assistance. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. By the way, Creighton the Wanderer can heal himself two times with an Estus, but he also gets an extra heal with a Divine Blessing. So keep that in mind. If you're having a little trouble with him, he can heal a couple of times. I would just stay on him. when he, Whenever he goes to heal, hit him. Okay, up here we can see an item up at the top. We're going to grab that real quick. Over there we can see a door. We can't go through it just yet. We're going to have to go around and open it. Don't worry about that one. Come to the left. If you focus on the one in front of you, you're going to get ambushed by this enemy here. So keep that in mind. This one's pretty easy. They turtle behind their shield quite a bit. Take these Irithyll slaves out. They have a chance to drop blood gems along with a claymore. Only the ones that are holding claymores can drop claymores, by the way. We're going to use our bow to get the attention of one of the slaves. I went right through its legs. Oh, come on. I am doo-doo at aiming, I guess. There we go. Be really careful of the fire witch. You don't want to get too close because then the fire witch is going to aggro towards you. They're going to hit the ground. That flame will come up. There we go. Not going to bother healing just yet. What is with my aim today? I'll tell you what. <laughs> wow. I mean, regardless, eventually they will make it to you, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. I'm just trying to speed it up for everybody watching. That way you're not sitting here for 10 minutes watching me wait on these Irithyll slaves to get to us. Now we're going to come over here. We're going to grab ourselves an item. And then up at the top, we can see that there is another Fire Witch. Oop. Did not expect that. Yep. Hit the ground. Kill the Fire Witch. Nice. Get the Immolation Tender. That's what they're holding. That's their weapon. Get a large Titanite shard. And then right over here, we have some more of these Irithyll Knights. Walls are just not my friend, I'll tell you what. Take them out, and then up here we have a Crystal Lizard. Down below, we have another one of those Irithyll Knights. If we roll into this wall just here, or a railing, it's not really a wall, it's more of a railing, we can get stairs to appear. Oh, so you can hit through walls 
but I can't. Get a Pontiff Knight crown. Oh, they're Pontiff Knights. Whatever. Irithyll Knights, Pontiff Knights. All the same, right? Not really, but we will say that they are. So right here, this is Dorothy. We can sneak up behind her for a backstab. And then a charge R2. And for killing Dorothy, we get Dorothy's Gnaw. She, oh, yeah. She dropped some Evangelist armor. Right here is a witch tree branch. That is a staff for all you sorcerers out there. And then here is the door that I was talking about earlier. We couldn't get through. Now we're through one of the harder sections of Irithyll. Not the hardest. The hardest is coming up shortly. At least in my opinion. Just making sure I'm not missing any items. A lot of times they hide in these alcoves. Grab another soul. Come over here. Grab another large titanite. And then right over here we can see a door. We can't get in there. That's a shortcut that we'll be able to open up a little later. gonna come to the top here light this bonfire and then right back here we can see a statue if you're not following um, Yuria's quest line this statue right here won't be here this is actually somebody using an illusion to disguise herself let's talk to Anri oh I thought it might be you good to see you I never managed to find Horus, but my duty must be done, even alone, as an unkindled Lord Seeker, for the children I knew, bless their souls. We all have our reasons, don't we? Please take this recompense for my foolish requests, and also a token of protection. May the flames guide your way. She's going to give us the Ring of the Evil Eye. So for every kill um, of an enemy, you will gain a little bit of health back. Ah, oh, you are brave indeed to face your duty alone. I would do well to learn from you. May the flames guide your way. Quiet Resolve. That's a, an awesome gesture. It's from... The trailer from Dark Souls 1, for anybody that watched that when it first came out. And then she will continue her quest, or he, depending on your gender. Come over here to get a proof of a Concord kept. We're going to rest at this bonfire, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Firelink Shrine. But before we do, I want to go over to... Um, Central Irithyll, we're going to pick up some armor that Creighton had lo uh, not lost, but had left. Okay, everyone, real quick, I want to apologize. I went back over to Central Irithyll and I forgot we have one more encounter with Creighton before his armor will be over there. So now we're back at Firelink Shrine. We have a couple of people to talk to and then we'll continue on exploring Irithyll. Let's talk to Cirrus. Hmm. I have not thanked you for your generous rescue. That dark spirit was one of Rosaria's fingers. Vile bastard offspring who lurk in the darkness. My sworn enemies. Fearsome invaders, to say the least. I would not have made it alone. 
You have my deepest gratitude. The silver cat ring is so freaking awesome. This is going to allow you to negate fall damage. As long as the fall won't kill you, you won't take any fall damage. Very good ring to have. And then she gives us a blessed mail breaker, which is okay. If you require help on your travels, I offer you my sign. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. Next, we're going to send Grey Rat to Pillage. If you have not done Sigurd's quest and progressed his quest at all, like giving his armor to him and all of that, or you have killed Patches and he's not here at Firelink Shrine, if you send Grey Rat to Pillage, he's going to die. So keep that in mind. Oh, hello. Fine work, I say. Discovering Irithyll in the Boreal Valley all in a day's work. If the tales are true, it is home to old moon-worshipping nobles and should be packed with treasure. What do you think? Shall I go and see what I can find? Go ahead and send him to pillage. Mmm, a fine choice. I am Grey Rat the Thief. What I bring back will be worthy of that name. <laughs> Goodbye. I will leave for some time. So long for now. Do stay safe, you hear? Or my efforts will have been for naught. <laughs> We're gonna go over to Yuria. We're gonna talk to her for a moment. Speak thy desire, honorable Lord of Hollows. Our Lord and Liege. Knowest thou of a maid named Anri? She is hollow, and will join thee in wedlock. A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. When the time is ripe, thou mayst make thy salutations. For what lord taketh no spouse? Till we meet again. May the dark sigil guide thee. Let's head back to the church of Yorshka. But before we do, I'm going to put on... I'm going to take the Karthus milk ring off. And we're going to put on the ring of the evil eye. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It doesn't heal you. It boosts its attacks as long as the attacking persists. So you have to keep hitting and then your attacks are going to hit harder and harder and harder. I apologize. I'll see everybody at the Church of Yorshka. That's the way that we entered. By the way, we can see that Anri is gone. We're going to come down here. Now, if you're wanting Creighton's armor, make sure that you're embered over here. Also, right here, here's a roster of knights. If you are into covenants and stuff, this is kind of like a covenant tracker. If you're turning in proof of concords kept, then you're going to get like one point for each one you turn in. It's an online thing. If you're playing online and you want to do that, feel free. Uh, I'm not going to bother with it because I'm not playing on online, so I can't even examine it. Take out these Irithyll slaves, and then we can pick up a fading soul. Now, Creighton is going to invade us right next to that tree. So what we want to do is come over here, take out that enemy. Don't worry about the items just yet. And we want to... Knock him off. 
so easy to knock him off if you just stay on him. So he's going to drop the Dragon Slayer's Axe. And we can pick up a Fading Soul right here. A Homeward Bone. And then right behind here, we get an Undead Bone Shard. Now we're going to backtrack and come right down here. To continue forward. Kill the Irithyll Slave. And then we want to get the attention of that dog. And then right here, I have another dog. Pick up some Kirki and a rusted gold coin. And then we're going to come right down here. It's going to get pretty dark in here, so I apologize to everybody. I could pull out a torch. But I'm not going to. Be careful. These Irithyll slaves are invisible until you get close to them. And some of them won't even be visible until you hit them. Grab these blue bug pellets. Usually one that'll... Yep. He still got me. I knew he was there. And he still got me. Be careful of the spit attack. Oh, sir, you stop it. Careful of the one that falls down. Oh, yeah, they can also drop blue bug pellets. So if that's something that you want on... So not only are we getting a little bit of, whoa, camera was being crazy there. Not only are we getting a little bit of health from our shield, but we're also healing from killing things. Oh my goodness. Worst case scenario. Try to kill that guy first before dealing with all that other nonsense. We got to climb this ladder again. Normally, that guy is not a problem. What is with the camera with that? It's crazy. Over there, you, it's kind of like a shortcut, but I wouldn't bother. It's not that big of a shortcut, if I'm being honest. One of the uh, Irithyll slaves fell down. Real quick, I'm going to show everybody. If we put the cat ring on... Normally, we would take damage from this fall. But because we have it on, and you've seen how that blue kind of mist went around our feet, that means it negated the damage. We can get Yorshka's Spear. And then let's go ahead and put our Covetous Silver Serpent Ring back on. Over here, we're going to have two invisible slaves. If we come over here and we look down, we can see a crystal lizard. And you're probably like, oh, cool. I can just come around here and get it. It's true. You can. But we're going to have to roll into this wall first. And killing the Crystal Lizard will give you some health back. Because anything you kill is going to give you health. Now, just to give everybody a heads up, all the way to the back is a Irithyll Slave that's going to scream 
and cause all the other ones to aggro. That's all right. They're not really that hard or difficult. They're pretty squishy. As long as you take your time, you should be all right. And then we're going to run over. We're going to kill this one first. And then there's going to be another guy that goes invisible. And we got a blood gem. He dropped a blood gem. Now, regardless, you're going to get one by picking one up from this body. But this guy usually stands right here. I like to kill the guy that screams first right here and then kill the other guy. Just my personal preference. Right down there, we have a new enemy. It's like a centipede type of enemy. They're disgusting. Get ourselves a ring of sacrifice. By the way, if you did not kill the dog, right over here is where you're going to have to fight him. And this water makes you fat roll. So keep that in mind. It's not an ideal place to fight the dog creature. Just going to roll our way over to this item over here. Roll back through here. And then over here is another one of these centipede creatures. They're pretty easy when they're sleeping. I mean, they're pretty easy regardless, but I just find them to be pretty easy when they're sleeping because they're not going to aggro towards you. Over here by the grub man, we're going to pick up Great Heal. That's an amazing spell for all you faith builds. You'll be able to heal for more. And I believe that you can also heal your allies using that as well. We're going to roll to this item over here. Off to the left, there's an archway. We'll be going down it in just a moment, but first we want to go through that doorway over there. We want to grab a bonfire. That way we don't have to worry about it a little later. Like We don't have to go through all of that nonsense again. We can just travel to this bonfire and continue on. But we won't be going through the distant manor until we're finished with Irithyll and Anorlando. And killing our second lord. Alright, be careful. We are going to have a ton of those centipede creatures. One's going to be right here. Just wait for him to run at you. They can drop green blossoms along with blooming green blossoms. And dung pies. Be careful, don't let them spit poison at you. Not that it would be that big of a deal, but, you know. Grab another dung pie. So right here, if you did not have Sigward's quest line going and patches, this is where Grey Rat would be. His ashes would be right here. So if you see his ashes, you did something wrong. And hopefully in your next run, you will succeed on keeping him alive. So before we go up those stairs, we're going to veer off to the left. Grab ourselves the excrement covered ashes. And then we are going to see Sigward. <laughs> Go ahead and talk to him for a bit. Uh, oh, 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 excuse me, I, I must have dozed off. It's rather warm in here. Well, 
Well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. Oh, I seem to have missed my chance, so... I, Siegfried of Katerina, offer my deepest gratitude. And a little surprise to go with it. It's all yours. He's going to give us a Mit Force. Really cool spell. You can, like, push enemies and even invaders away from you. It's like a force push. Pretty cool. I know. Won't you join me for dinner? I make a fine Esther soup. I've got some stewing right now. Even we undead deserve a little normalcy from time to time. And finally, upon this rendezvous, let us make a toast. To your valor, my sword, and our sworn duties. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Have you heard? Somewhere, hidden right here in Irithil, is a deep dungeon. And even below that, the profaned capital, home of Yorm, the reclusive giant lord. That reminds me. I have a grave promise to keep. Oh, sorry. I'm afraid I've cast a cloud over things. Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> So now we have continued his quest line. If you're hurting really bad, even after he has given you some heals, there is an Estus soup right here. For now, we're going to come out here. We're going to one hand our weapon, bring out our black bow of Ferris, two hand that for a second. I would not venture too far. There is a silver knight up there with a bow. So what I like to do is get the attention of the Silver Knight that is thirsting over Guinevere. Like to get his attention. Get him to come over here. They have a couple of attacks. I like to parry them if I can. That attack is so dangerous, and I almost just died. There we go, got the parry. Charged R2. Now, I'm pretty sure that they do not respawn if you kill them. But they do have a chance to drop a Divine Blessing and a large Titanite Shard. We're going to run across the way here and stay behind these pillars. That way if the Silver Knight does see us, we're protected by the pillars. And then right over there, we're going to run to that doorway. We have another knight to fight before we can fight the one with the bow Gonna pull out his sword. There we go. That is as well as it can go. 
We're going to go over here. Be careful not to hit these pots. It will like spew out some cold air and cause frostbite. Get the Leo ring. Get Smo's great hammer. And then get a divine blessing. So if you're low on health or you're low on um, Estus, you can always put on that divine blessing along with the Sig brew that Sigward gave us earlier. We're actually going to run down here. I'm going to go use that Estus soup real quick so that we can top off our health or at least get close to it. Thank you for the soup, Sigward. Now let's continue forward. Don't get stuck in the thirst trap right there. If you know, you know. Over here to the left, if you are not following along with Yuria's, Yuria's quest line or you have upset her, you're going to be invaded by the Pale Shade right over here. And it's really not ideal because you're going to be fighting some dogs. And you're going to have some Irithyll slaves shooting spells at you. Thought I was going to dodge that. Guess not. Grab this soul by the tree. Listen here, sir. Be careful. More dogs. You can also put on a blue bug pellet to help with the uh, magic damage. Right here's another dog. Did not have enough time to roll away. But if you have made it this far and you need to rest at a bonfire, you can take this elevator up. And this is the elevator that I was talking about. Well, not elevator, but the door that I was talking about earlier would give you a big shortcut because that over there is the church of Yorshka. So you can always rest at the bonfire, come back over here and then continue forward. Now, the enemies are going to be respawned over here, so keep that in mind. We're going to travel up these steps, and then instead of going through that door, we're going to put on our cat ring, or silver cat ring, I'm sorry, and we're going to fall down right here. We can take that back off. We don't need it. We can climb this ladder. Take out these Irithyll slaves. Another blue bug pellet. Some more blue bug pellets. Think we got plenty of blue bug pellets. We're gonna come over here. Grab this item that's just right here. And then up top, we're gonna have another pontiff knight, except this one's gonna have a scythe. So be careful. They're pretty easy to stagger if you're using a 
um, heavy weapon. So right here you can summon in the Pale Shade if you want. I don't ever summon her in for a fight. Um, at least not in the Pontiff fight here. You can always summon in Black Hand. And most importantly, Anri. Now before we go fighting Pontiff, we want to come down here. Grab ourselves an ember. Open up this door. And then we can see a fire witch just there. We're going to grab this item. We're going to lock onto him and then get a plunging attack. Be careful of the Pontiff Knight as well. There's usually one that stays right there when you're coming through this door. So if you want to kill them first and then drop over there and take out the Fire Witch, feel free. Now we see an item that's right up there. We can't get it just yet. We're going to grab this Lightning Gem. And then we're going to roll into this wall. Get ourselves the Magic Clutch Ring. And then we'll come up to the top. I was just making sure that the enemies that are usually over here weren't pathing back towards me. And then we're going to hop off right here. Grab the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. That will boost all your miracles. So if you're a faith build, or doing miracles... That'll help you out. Now we're going to backtrack over to the church of Yorshka. And all we're doing is resting at the bonfire. And then we're going to be fighting Pontiff Sullivan. He is weak to fire, by the way. So if you have some charcoal pine resin, you can always use that. worry about the fire witch be careful of these guys and he still hit me these guys are kind of jerks though putting them right there kind of sucks because no matter what unless you're extremely lucky you're gonna get hit take out that pontiff knight and then right over here we're gonna take out the scythe pontiff knight as well that way we don't have them backtracking on us. And that is awesome. We got the Pontiff Knight uh, Great Scythe. Really cool. Um, it's an okay scythe. But it's still cool to get. So we're going to summon in a Black Hand Gotthard. Or Goddard. Not sure how to pronounce that if I'm being honest. And then next we are going to summon in Annery. I feel like it's only fitting to summon her in. Also, if you're playing online, you can summon in a third NPC or your friends, whichever, if you use the dried finger. But I'm not online, so I don't get that extra summon. And I think we'll be all right regardless. So let's traverse the fog. Pontiff Sel Sullivan is up there. He can be parried. I'm not very good at parrying him, so I'm not going to bother. But I am going to buff up before we get up to him and make sure that Anri and Blackhand are right behind me because he is fast. Ooh, got caught in the crossfire there. Let's 
still getting caught in that crossfire. He's got a pretty wide range. Okay, back up when he goes and bends down because he's going to have a big AoE. And then he's going to summon in a shade. Doesn't matter if you keep it alive or if you kill it. Oh, I didn't mean to drink an Estus. I meant to buff. Woo. Gotta love when you stop locking on to somebody. Or, well, a boss, not somebody. A boss in the middle of a boss fight. Pontiff Sullivan. He's really not that hard of a boss fight. Um, if you're soloing him, I would recommend not killing the Shade. He is slower with his attacks. As soon as you kill his Shade, he will like speed up on his attacks. But for killing him, we get the soul of Pontiff Sullivan and we get a bonfire. Slight the bonfire. We're going to rest at this bonfire, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Central Irithyll, and this time we're going to get Creighton's armor. So I'll see everybody at Central Irithyll. So let's go back over across the bridge, and then we can see... A dead corpse. Well, it's a corpse. Most corpses are dead. Uh, reaching towards the sky and we get Creighton's armor set or the Mira set. Now we can head back over to Firelink Shrine. Go meet up with Grey Rat and talk to Yuria again. So I'll see everybody at Firelink Shrine. Let's rest at the bonfire. Burn ourselves an undead bone shard. We're going to come up here to Ludlith. And we're going to see what we can get for Pontiff Soul. Uh -huh. so. so the first thing we can get uh, from the soul of Pontiff Sullivan is the Great Sword of Judgment. Okay. Um, along with the Profaned Great Sword, which, again, is okay. Uh, regardless, I'm not getting either one. You, you can choose to get either or, or you can use the soul. Totally up to you. Now, now. We're going to roll off here. And we're going to go over to the handmaid here. Uh -huh. Give her the excrement covered ashes. Gracious, let I own her. <laughs> Ashen mama. Then we're going to go talk to Grey Rat. Oh, then we're both safe and sound. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion night. But in the end, it all paid off. Take a good look. They're sure to be of some use. Goodbye. Oh, this... <laughs> Now let's talk to Yuria. 
Speak thy de- honorable. Ah, greetings, our lord and liege. Good tidings. Thy spouse is ready. The time is ripe to greet her. The girl awaits thee in the hidden dark moon chamber of Anor Londo. So thou mayst a true monarch become. Till we meet it, may the... Now that we have all of that taken care of, we're going to go ahead and come over to our usual spot and then the video. Just get situated here. Maybe. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.